In this video, I'd like to look at a, two Python programs that are reading very similar but slightly different JSON files. People don't often sort of pay attention to the J, they just see it's JSON and then they move on from there without thinking about particularly how the JSON starts and how it's organized. So I'm going to show sort of the same data but in slightly different JSON files and what differences we have to then have in Python to accommodate those changes. Okay. So the first one I'll look at, the, it's going to uh, start with Curly. So this is going to be the Python that reads the JSON that starts with Curly and here's the JSON that starts with the Curly. So Curly is a dictionary in Python speak. And it has a property. So this dictionary has a property IMDB, Internet Movie Database, some of the top movies at the time whenever I grab this data. And that property is an array, sorry, a list in Python speak. And then it is a list of dictionaries with key value pairs like movie title, IMDB rank, and so on down the line. And then, and that's sort of the whole object, just one property. So one dictionary that has one property that is a list of these objects. Okay, so that's what I'm going to read. And as it says, it starts with a curly. So it's starting with the dictionary. Okay. So I import JSON and I import the operating system. I point the Operating, I change the directory to the location of the file so that this file is right next to the, the JSON files right next to the Python. So it's easy to read if I'm located in the proper position. And I'm reading the JSON file in 14. It doesn't know it's JSON yet. It just thinks of it as text. And then in 16, I'm sort of parsing it as JSON and bringing in this movie info. And movie info, because I start with a curly, is a dictionary. So now I just want to loop over in this simple little program. I'm just going to limp yes, loop over and display the movies, some information about the movies down in my terminal. And what we have to understand here is that movie info is not a list. Movie info is a dictionary with a property IMDB top, and that is the list. So when I set up here in 20 for my list, I have to say not movie underscore info, but movie underscore info square bracket quote IMDB top. That's what, what the list is. That's what I can loop over. Then a movie is sort of an element of that array. And then we saw that it had these particular properties, IMDB rank, movie title, movie year. So I'm just going to print out uh, those properties of my dictionaries that are within this list. And again, so we start with a dictionary. It has a property, which is a list, and then we can loop over that list. And so then there is the list of movies, uh, the Shawshank Redemption, the Godfather, the Godfather, the Dark Knight, and so on. Whenever I took that data, those were the top movies at that time. Okay, now we wanna look at the other one, start square. And so it's the same set of information, it's still the sort of top 10 movies from the internet movie database. But now we're starting with the square bracket. We're starting right in the array, sorry, the list in Python speak. So we're starting at the list. So what we read in is a list from the start. Okay. So now here is the Python for looking at that JSON that starts with the array. Again, import JSON and port operating system. Give yourself put yourself in a position where you understand that you're next to the file so it's easy to read read the file parse it as json that part's all the same it, but it's the json itself that's different so now movies is what i read in and it is 
a list. So now I can directly loop over that list. So now I'm saying for a movie in movies, movies was a list, it makes sense to loop over it. And then we are printing out that same information. So running the program gets the same results. So there it is, there's the list again. So the, overall, the same data is, com, is in both files and our output of that data is the same, but we have to be careful here in this for loop. Is what we read in uh, a list as it is here? When, when the JSON started with the square bracket, we started with the list. So what was read in, as soon as we parse the JSON, we have a list and we're ready to loop over that list. But in the case that started with a curly, that started with a dictionary, we had to go in to dig a little bit into the property and, that, and then it's that property that was a list. So that is this comparison I want to make that you always must look at the JSON you're reading if at all possible so that you are sort of, as you sort of code it and you code the processing of it, uh, this part doesn't change. The, the, the program knows how to uh, coded either way, but then what you do subsequently, you have to understand the structure of the JSON and whether this overall thing is a dictionary or is a list and, and treat it accordingly. So that's what I wanted to make that distinction. And I thank you for your attention.